Hello. Yes, that's right. We've laid down the foundations of British nationalism all those decades ago, from the 1970s, 80s, 90s, early 2000s, right up to the present. We have laid down the foundations of British nationalism. The public know who we are. We have put into the public consciousness that British nationalism stands diametrically opposed to the third world invasion and colonization of our country. They know who we are. All that hard work in the 1970s, 80s, 90s, paper selling, leafleting, marches, rallies, demos, elections, hasn't all been in vain, trust me. Yes, we've scored a few own goals and we've alienated the public and the media has also attacked us and frightened the public away from joining and voting and supporting us. Yes, that's right, but the public still know who we are. All we need to do is smarten up our act and articulate our message. And the future is bright for British nationalism. Trust me, who would have believed in Brexit? Well, exactly. Donald Trump or even the Berlin Wall coming down. No one. No one knows what's around that corner. Not even you, Nick Griffin. Even though now you're pushing this defeatist nonsense about it's all over, it's too late. Let's just have some fallback plan and separate from the system and grow your own f f veg in the back garden, tomatoes, spuds, whatever. And it's just a cop-out, and you know it is. You've got a book to sell, you're building this new community of back to the land, and you'll sell them more books. And it's more pennies and pounds for you. And it's you saving ego status and, you know, your own dignity and honour, I suppose, because you threw it all away. We were on a roll when you were leading the BMP, and you didn't listen. And it was taken from you. You were kicked out the BMP, and you lost your seat in the European Parliament. And now, all of a sudden, it's all over. Well, it's not all over. Let me tell you now, it's not. Our fight only is beginning now, right? The 70s, 80s, 90s, and like I've said, even early 2000s, we were laying down the foundations of British nationalism. We were putting into the public consciousness that British nationalism stands diametrically opposed to the third world invasion and colonization of our country all those paper sales all those marches demos rallies haven't been in vain the public know who we are and we haven't gone away they know that we've just got to smarten up our act so all this defeatist nonsense don't be swallowing it our time is now trust me it is and the fight begins now. The past was all about laying down the foundations of British nationalism and putting into the public consciousness that British nationalism stands diametrically opposed to the third world invasion of our once beloved Great Britain. Our time is now. Trust me. Okay, thank you.